What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, I uh, I want to welcome welcome you back to the new nifty new player series if you guys are not familiar with nifty arcade make sure you go check out the platform uh, this is a series that i'm doing as kind of a partnership with them in order to just give a little bit of guidance and see what the bronze experience and the new player experience is like but if you want to start playing splinterlands there are decks available there for 100 free that you can get for a season or two seasons i think an entire month uh, and it's just a revenue split with the owners of the deck which for the most part uh if you if you get it splinterlands is providing those right now but if you want to play at the higher leagues there's going to be some decks available from other uh other players within the game or other investors within the game so the focus for this video is on the fact that i actually joined a guild very recently so i wanted to go one season without it um and as i started looking at okay i'm starting to earn some merits now and i want to start playing in brawls because i I am I am getting a lot of these summoners. You can see here in the last video that I posted, my playable summoners, soulbound summoners, are you know I have five out of the six total, um, and that means that I can start playing gladiator cards. The whole benefit of these of these summoners is to bring gladiator cards in, and these gladiator cards can be quite powerful, especially at the bronze and lower levels. So I'm excited to do that. I joined a guild, and this is with uh, several of the team members. I got I, I posted the video here. Somebody saw it. They invited me over. So I'm in crypto friends forever. You can see here that my my guildmates are pretty awesome, actually. Uh, Yaba Matt is in there let's see if there's any other names you might recognize melon man is from the team as well investigator uh hard point so um and yeah so i you know i just i just joined i just played my first i just played my first um what was i called my first brawl with them I, I think i did decent uh let's see what my overall results were but i will i will do more brawl coverage if that's uh, if you guys are looking for that so you can see here uh i went Eight and one. Look at that. I was at the top. <laughs> Amazing. So, and we were we were at the top of our our uh, respective kind of phrase here. So, you know, exciting stuff. I won three thirty two hundred merits and got twenty SPS staked. So, if you are playing and you are not in a guild yet, find one, join one. Um, you know, there, there's many places you can go on to Discord. You can go on to Reddit. I mean, some of these guilds that you go into, if you just go into the guild section here. You might find some that are just open, right? You can see the, um, the membership style. It's by request, invite only. And then if you go down far enough, um, you know, some of them are just open and you can jump in if you want to. And that's that's what I thought about doing at first. I mean, here's a guild. Well, see, these these are all full, but they're technically open. So if you find one of them that is open, so there's a bunch here where uh, these are all full as well. But, you know, if you're, if you're eagle eye about it, you're, you're diligent, you will find a spot. But I would say it's probably better to get in with a solid community because for me, and not in my main guild, not in this guild, but in my main guild, Archmage Arius Disciples, which is where my main account is, you know, it's an awesome community of folks that we have there are sub-community, I should say, within the Splinterlands, broader community, and uh, I've really gotten to enjoy getting to know them and playing the game in a different kind of level with them. So let's go ahead, and I'm actually going to uh, grab a Gladius case because we have enough for that. So let's go ahead and, and grab one Gladius case. We're going to pay with merits, and we're going to open it here and see how things are. And the reason that I want to do this right away rather than waiting for you know more, uh, more packs in the future is is because of the fact that like a lot of these cards can be very powerful. So let's go ahead and open. Uh, we're gonna bring this in and see if we can get something decent and send us off on a good start. All right, yes, let's go. Uh, I'm excited here. Now my I'm glad we got a lob lowland because some of these earth uh, earth monsters are super powerful. Obviously you have Korra, but Katrelba Gobson and then Bertrall Gobson are great ones as well. And then there's also the the one on the water team, uh, who I can't remember his name right now, but he's the opportunity guy. So here we go. Chimney Wall Stop, another great card. Love throwing him in the reach position with Yasik. Uh, we have Crash Wanderford, who's okay. He's I, I don't really use him at the lower levels, but when you get a little bit higher, he's fantastic. <gasps> we got Katrelva. This is going to be huge because we can play her with um, we can play her with uh, Lob Lowland. We have a Captain Katie, amazing. This is one of my favorite cards to use with life. And we got Helmet Carafax. So, uh, man, I, I am actually really excited. These are, again, these aren't like, you know, the best cards that you can get. But these are cards that I, I think are very powerful for the meta, especially at the lower levels in bronze. Captain Katie with the three magic damage and snipe. And keep in mind, you can play Captain Katie 
uh, with Franz Roughmane, I believe is the name of the summoner. So let's go here. And so you're going to get that, you know, you're going to get that plus one armor. You would need at least 13 mana. Obviously, you'd want something maybe a little bit higher in mana, but that plus one armor is going to be clutch. Lob Lowland is another fantastic one because now I can throw Catralba in. And if there's enough mana, I can throw in Queen Mycelia, Grund, and really, really make a powerful melee team. Uh, Eternan Brun. Um, so I like to play... Well, so so actually, I made a mistake because I said I like to play that that gladiator guy. Uh, where is it? Chimney Wall Stop. I like to play him with Yasek, but that would only be in phrase. If I want to play Chimney Wall Stop in uh, regular games uh, or you know rank battle games, I would need to play him with Eternan Brune. And actually, the minus two is not bad. The minus two armor because you can remove you know the armor, and then he does five damage. Uh, I believe let's go back to, to him. He does five damage and might be even better for like reverse rule speeds. Now, what makes all these gladiator cards so awesome? Well, it is this right here, the bloodlust ability where they increase their stats. So, you know, I would say Catralba and Captain Katie are probably my favorites right now. And I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of them, but I will report back in a future video once I'm able to play with them a little bit more. But um, overall, I'm just excited. I want to see if I can dominate bronze now. So I will get on that grind. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.